this is the first trial of this vaccine. Um, so our goals are pretty basic. We want to look at the safety. And then secondary to that, we want to look at the immune response, uh, specifically antibodies produced against that particular protein that the vaccine causes to be made. These are people who are volunteering to be in a trial of, for a vaccine that's never been given to humans before. And so we take all the precautions we can take, but there's some inherent risk there uh, because we, we can't know what we haven't evaluated yet. So yes, they are, I think that most of them or all of them are acting out of a sense of public good and wanting to, to help in this process. There's no chance of getting coronavirus from the vaccine. Uh, the vaccine is not made from the virus. It does not have any part of the virus. Uh, it includes um, a genetic code that instructs the cells in the body to make a protein that the virus has in order to uh, induce an immune response against that protein, which would hopefully allow uh, an immune response to be developed more quickly should a person later become infected with the actual virus. Going from not even knowing that this virus was out there, which we then identified it as being a cause of infection in China in January, to having a vaccine that we can actually initiate a clinical trial in about two months is unprecedented. So although this is the fastest we have ever gone from a sequence of a virus to a trial, it still would not be any applicable to the epidemic unless we really wait about a year to a year and a half. Now, that means two things. One, the answer to containing is public health measures. We can't rely on a vaccine over the next several months to a year. However, if this virus, which we have every reason to believe it is quite conceivable that it will happen, will go beyond just a season and come back and recycle next year. If that's the case, we hope to have a vaccine. 